In this tutorial, for the want of a better name, I'm going to call this modelling uh, a lampshade shape. So I'm going to change the name straight away. Rename. Lampshade shape. I'm going to make a circle. And going to make it oh, 200 millimeters which is a nice size for a lampshade and I'm going to put a oops center line in escape right click make it into a mirror line and then another one here, a uh, tab, um, 120. Then for simplicity, I'm going to put a circle on here. then spline now if we hold the alt key the spline I'll zoom in on this you might be able to see that you got parallel lines on here which means it's gonna the spline is gonna arrive at a tangent on this line so we'll go around to that point we've chosen ah there right parallel click Uh, inside curve there then I'm going to go around to here I'm holding the alt key down again and again you see the parallel line here which is what we need there click okay now we can trim away a few things trim these in, trim away the mirror line on that. We need the, we're going to keep these because we're going to need that center point at some stage but I can trim away that part. Now we're going to make a pattern here, capture the whole lot and move shift that down to the center point we're going to create patterns here and then we're going to rotate we need six of these so once we get a pattern emerging right so at the moment we've got where is it down at the bottom there is is eight so we change that to six and there we have six D for design And we've got the service I'm gonna now I want these center points maintained and if I select the whole thing hold the control key I'm gonna move it down away a little bit and drag up one whoops whoops two Three, four, there's four of them. Change to the pull tool. Pull six faces. Well, we've captured the whole thing, yes, so we select the scale, scale body, pick an anchor point, now then here's what we need. We need this centre anchor point. There we see now our arrow pointing over to the right. We can drag that in. To a small one. Okay, then I'm going to 
couple through this will whoa <laughs> control Z right click the deselect that cups through this whole one here pull tool scale center point I'm gonna make this one a bit bigger okay now we need to get rid of these lines because we want pure planes here so we can use with conjunction with the blend tool so we're going to one two three six that was holding the control key delete key that gets rid of them Delete. 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 Now then, now that we've got our planes made, select the blend tool, select one of them, hold control, select the next, next, and finally this one, yup, and if you're happy with that, if you wanted that to curve in you could put another plane here which is smaller than this one then it would it would blend into a concave shape so you can play around with those anyway if you're happy with that select the tick button and we've got that as a solid now select the shell tool select the base we've got a one millimeter here we could leave that or we could change it to something else just click it and wait and there's our lampshade shape we've got a bit at the end here we can select the circle tool select that end put the circle on this is where we fit it to our uh, lump fitting P for pull and there's a the lump shed well I hope you found that interesting and maybe useful um, the shape of course is determined by whatever shapes you put on here Round here you could have knife edges, blends like uh, rounds like this one. Possibilities are endless. Anyway, hope you like that. Please subscribe and I'll see you again quite soon. Bye.